everyone, it's Nahar Geva here, the CEO and founder of Zeek Analytics. And in this video, I'm going to teach you about eBay dropshipping product research and the similar product method. Now, there are a few uh, very recommended methods for product research from competitor research, niche, re niche research, bulk listing, etc. But there is one method which can give you maybe two to three to four times more profit on the product you sell. And this is the similar product method. I suggest all of you to add this method to your tool set and to list a couple of products in this method on a weekly basis. But let's first get started and see how you find uh, products with high profit to sell uh, in the similar product method. So I'll go to the product research here, as you can see, and what I will do here, I will search a name of a product or a niche. You can, get in, you can get to a name of product on a niche through competitors. Or for example, if you find a product that's sold a lot of times, above 20 times in one of your competitors, you can run search on the niche, or you can just randomly grab an, grab an idea from anywhere uh, you want. I, will, I took the keyword, the product wireless Bluetooth headphones from the last video Ella made about the best selling products to sell in August. And I'm gonna demonstrate your example on this a product niche. So you have to make sure you pick the right shipping location based on your supplier where your supplier ship the product from. I'll give an example today about drop shipping from US suppliers and how I source the, the similar product from Amazon. You can do the same method from AliExpress, Walmart, wholesale suppliers, everything. Okay. Just make sure to put the shipping location as your supplier. So I put the keywords here, hit the search button. And now I'll checkbox all the results and I'll hit the Zeek selection. What will happen now in the first step, I'll analyze and validate the demand and competition. So I'm looking on the sales, $277,000 in sales. It's a lot. Uh, we're talking about sales rate of 17,000% high demand and a success rate of 96% means 96% of sellers on page one manage to sell at least one product. So overall demand and success rate is very good. Now, second step will be to look on the diversity of this market. So I can see here that there is one seller who takes 14% and the rest is moving from 6% to 1%. It's almost half of the pie, which means the market is very diverse. I'll try to avoid products or niches if the, uh, if there is one or two or three sellers who are taking up to above 40%. And again, it's not mandatory. It also depends on the selling point and which price you can get of the product. But once there is two, three sellers who are taking over 40%, the market is already, uh, it's not diverse anymore and, and it's reduced our chances to be successful. Once I validate demand and competition, I scroll down to look for selling opportunities. But how do I find selling opportunities for the similar product method? Uh, this is the question. And what I want to do is I want to find products with high sales. So it means high demand. I want that the selling point will be, the selling price will be higher than the average selling price. So the average selling price is $16. I'll try to look for higher. And I prefer to compete with sellers with low amount of feedbacks. So you can do different filters here. You can filter by price, see from the most expensive uh, products to the least, or you can filter by feedbacks to see um, uh, the lower the, the low feedback seller first. It's already filtered from the most selling products here, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click the amount of the amount of feedback uh, button here, and I'll look through the sellers with the lowest amount of feedbacks. And I'll try to look for opportunity, which uh, bring me a, a price which I can be profitable, but also, and this is the most important thing about similar products, to a non-brand product. I don't want to try bring similar products to uh, original Apple AirPods because I have no chance. People buying Apple AirPods because it's Apple. I want to find those white labels, Chinese brands, non-branded product that I can compete with. So we have this product here, 54 feedbacks, 43 sales, selling for $14.99. Let's see if we get something for a little bit better price here. So I came across this guy, 604 feedbacks, 63 sales. Selling for $23.99. The key, the title, let's read the title. It's Bluetooth True Wireless Airbuds for iPhone 11 Pro X XR Android TWS Airphone. Okay, so the key, the title, very specific title, but also can be used for many different type of um, uh, AirPods. 
And um, now what I need to do is to go and look for similar products. So what I like to do, I like to open the eBay product to get some more information, see the features, see the way out the shape, the way, the color, how the product is working. I want to get a very similar product. It's very important, okay? So we have here, um, we have a waterproof touch control, 3D stereo sound, auto pairing, and this is the way it looks. Let's try to see what we can get in Amazon. And let's, let, let me show you what you do, how you go to Amazon. So what you do, you have a few ways. You can click on the red button here. You can hit the search title on Amazon. And then it will take the keywords wireless Bluetooth cell phones and it will search them here. Okay. But, and the but is, there in every product niche, there are plenty of different products. There is big variety, not in every niche, but in many niches. So you, you want to have a very exact search. So, you, so you're looking for the right product. So what I will try to do is I will try to define the exact keyword of the product as well. So we can see it's a wireless earbuds here. I can take wireless earbuds, we can take Bluetooth earbuds, we can try different keywords as you can see here. So I'll take this, I'll go here and I'll put it here. Bluetooth through wireless earbuds. So let's just put here like this, Bluetooth wireless earbuds. And then I came to more, much more relevant results. Second things that we'd like to do is, of course, if it's Amazon, look for prime products. Uh, but more than this, look for the lowest price products. Why? Because when I look to the lowest price product, this is where I can find opportunities. If this product's selling here for $23.99 and I don't want to be more expensive for him, I want to have a little bit uh, advantage on his price. What I want to do, I will filter from the low and I will start to go one by one. You need to be patient when you do the similar product method. Okay, I will go one by one and I will look for products. And uh, you will see that you have a lot of sponsored products which are expensive. So ignore it, okay? Ignore them and just move from one to another. What I can tell you in many niches, you will not find products on the first two, three pages. You need to go and skip and skip till you go to the page number 10, 17, 20, or even longer till you find a selling opportunity. This is by the way, selling for 7.99, the rates are not so good. And this is what I did here for the example. So I went, uh, uh, before the video started, I went to page 17 here. And I start and I came across these products. I came across this product here selling for $9.99. Came across this product here selling for $50.99. This product here, another product for $9.99. This one also $9.99. And another one for $9.99. I find this one is the most uh, relevant for me. Okay. And because I believe that if I use this title, on this product, I will be able to generate, to convert the traffic to sell. We'll be talking about it in a second, but let's just look on the profit when you do, when you do the similar uh, product method. So this product selling for $9.99, this selling for $23.99, okay? They are not exactly the same, but they, they have almost same features. They look almost similar. Some people will say, oh, you know what? I prefer the way this one looks. Some people will say, I prefer the way this one looks. What is important that they are doing the same thing, that they're looking very similar to each other. If it's a little bit different shape or different uh, uh, color or different brand is not a big deal. We know that this title drive traffic to this product and it generates sales, it's work. So if we know this is this title drive traffic and generate sales, I'm sure that some of the traffic that, that will come through this, this title will also convert on this product. And this is what I'm trying to do. Now, because I use this title, the price the price point is $23.99, while I buy this product for $9.99. Now, maybe someone else selling this product on eBay with another title, but it doesn't matter. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to come under this title and compete with this seller to get, uh, to take some of his Profit will do some title optimization, of course, but I will use the, the root of the title. So let's just look on the profit here. The profit here, if it's $9.99 here and it's $23.99, we're talking about uh, about uh, around 30% profit, guys. Okay, about 30% profit. We're talking about five to seven dollar profit, here, which is very good. Now, after I decide to sell this product, how do I optimize the title? So what I will do, I will copy this title, okay, because I want to complete this title. I'll go back to Zeek Analytics and I will open the title builder and I will put, I will search here for the keyword that defines. So I'll put the full title, but I'll only, I'll only keep the Bluetooth earbuds, you know, just to get a general result here. I'll hit the search button. 
And now, when I came inside the title builder, I'll, I'll put here again this, the full title. I'll see how many titles, how many keywords I have left. So Bluetooth through wireless earbuds for iPhone 11 Pro X, XR, Android, there's earphones. So I, have, I can add another keyword. I, I can remove the true, or I can just add one more keyword here. So I will add here, like, maybe headset. No, this is too long. If I, if, if I try, this is too long. We can add only five, only four keywords. So it's very, very short. So I will definitely need to remove something. So iPhone 11 Pro X XR, I will remove the XR, okay? And I will add here earphone, headset, earbuds. We have headphones. We have headphones here. We don't have headphones actually. Let's see if we can add the headphones. No, no. So I will add a headset. It's even this is too long right now. So let's do like, let's check it out. Let's check it out. And set. Yeah, this is coming here perfect. Perfect. So this is how we got a new title, almost the same, only one keyword difference. I will copy the title and I will put the title on this product. Selling this product, guys, for $22.99 or $23 or $21. 99 just one dollar less than this product that's all not much just one two dollar less than this product so i can still have the profit so so this is how you do the similar product method now i want to give you some guidance because i know it sounds exciting it looks like you can make a lot of profit it is but you have to be very careful don't go and you know see okay this is the product now you bring like 10 20 products similar to this no you want to test similar product method on one product you find one product you bring a similar one and you wait to see what's happening if one product catch up, then you can bring more similar product. Don't come and throw 10, 20 products at the same time, okay? Do one, see if it works good, and move on. And another tip, be very accurate. The more accurate you will be, the better. For example, this example with this product, it is accurate, but it's not super accurate because it still looks a little bit different and everything. If you could get something very similar to this, you'll have even higher chances to sell. So, guys, thank you so much. I hope you learned some new things on this video. We'll be see each other on the next video. Have a beautiful day and good luck with your business. Ciao.